abogera abogere ugande songa mbere abogera abogere ugande songa mbere abakola pikore ugande songa mbere abe bakabwe bake ugande songa mbere songa 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 mbere ugande songa mbere abogera abogere Gandhi songa mbere those talking talk 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 but Gandhi is moving forward Gandhi is moving on abogera mugire Gandhi songa mbere songa Gandhi songa mbere songa abogera mugire Gandhi songa mbere it is the final channel be in the no general editor mwini video ya jukoze hiyo Doza rumu ye wali ye unya oroku beranga ya vika na ranga ensiyo nane jaganya jenero na gamba abantu benda lwadi lida ngaba mvudemu na ye jenero yakomyewo ne video yakola kati rumbu ye ono gamba kya abantu <laughs> kasoke nkuwe jenero akayimba kako ka jenero ne supichi ye yonna today is the 6th of february 2021 40 years after the 6th of February 1981 which we called Tarahe Sita which we are celebrating 40 years anniversary of the PRA Popular Resistance Army the National Resistance Army now known as the UPDF uh, the Tarahe Sita which we celebrate is a day to remember. I just want to first by that by saying what do I think of this day? Each day, each year it comes. Because I start by thanking God. Thanking God, thanking God, thanking God. That who are we, the few of us who are still alive from that day of the 6th of February 20, 1981 to date, 40 years after. When was, which was a day of really trumpeting, blowing the trumpet to the whole country that we are going, we are going, we are starting, and we are going to organize a protracted people's war which will involve the population into liberating themselves. I really want to thank God for life. I thank God for, we are only about 13 out of the 43 people who attacked Kabamba with 27 guns and when one thinks of the preparations of the background because the trumpeting of this revolution of the NLM revolution had a history it was not just out of nowhere it all started with our leader our revolutionary leader Yoweri Kabuta Museven who from his student days started seeing the need for liberating Africa, the need for finding solutions to Uganda's problems, started when he was still a student at the school in the 60s and continued to fight uh, Idi Amin when Idi Amin captured power and went into exile and organized and eventually started for NASA, which uh, participated in the removal of the Idi Amin regime. And that's where we started, that's where we joined and it helped us to understand, from NASA helped us to understand the history of Uganda, the challenges of Uganda, the possible solutions that could be taken to liberate our country. And when, in 1981, after we had carried out a good analysis of the situation which was chaotic, where there were a lot of killings and turmoil, and we said, now, let's look for a solution is when on the 6th of February we trumpeted, we launched, we blew the trumpet to the whole country, to the people of Uganda, to tell them we are coming, we are starting, we are appealing to you from today, we are going to change the history of Uganda. That is what is fed. The every day I remember, when I remember the anxiety we had early morning of that morning of the 6th of February 1981, and the dusty, how dusty we were by the evening, 
how the whole day started off a completely new way of life. Uh, it makes me thank God that it was for a purpose. God was in it. God was behind it. It was for a good cause. And 40 years after today, celebrating this day is something to say, thank God, thank God, thank all those, starting from our leader, the president of Uganda, still, Yoweri Kabuta Museven, who has vision, whose leadership, whose guidance, whose principles, whose patience, whose managing of the affairs of our country has been a plus, plus, plus for now a new generation of 40 years young people, 40 years and below from that day who have grown under that revolution is something to be proud of, is what makes me forget about the worries, forget about the anxieties, forget about the challenges we went through, forget about the loss we had, forget about the pain we had, and it was for a good cause. So that's why I think it has a big significance. What does this day, Terehesita, being celebrated by the UPDF and the whole country, what is its, what is its significance? It's very important that people should remember that there was a period, 24 years of independence, after independence, where Uganda was in turmoil, where Uganda was in chaos, where there was bad leadership. And this day started off a liberation uh, struggle of the people of Uganda. All of them welcome those who are willing to come, those who are willing to sacrifice, those who are willing to give whatever it took, those who are willing to say, I will contribute. Others contributed by just prayers. We would get old women saying, Baba Sabira, we prayed for you. And even the, some are still up to now still praying. To see that now, we have also had now gray hair. You know, those who are old women. But now, 40 years after that, we were very young people, most of us. And God has enabled us with a, a clear political line, with a clear military line, with a correct ideology, with a correct strategy, with correct use of our tactics to find that we have a young generation who have lived in relative peace incomparable to the previous uh, times of the history of Uganda. The significance of this day is so important that we celebrate it, we remember it, we know that this was the day when the young people and the old people who joined us from, the, from Uganda said we want to make a difference. That difference has been seen, is visible, can be seen not without just talking about it. It is seen in everything, starting from the building of the NRA UPDF now. The building of a new armored force, of a new army, because in the past, right from the, from, from the traditional uh, kingdom armies that were here, up to the Uganda, up to the East African Rifles, Uganda Rifles, Uganda Army, UNRA, and now we have the mighty UPDF. Starting from zero, from those 43 with 27 guns, to build a new armed force called the mighty UPDF now. A true people's armed force, a people's army with a difference, is what we celebrate on this day. We celebrate that beginning of having a close relationship with the population, of working with the people to liberate themselves, of guiding the people and guiding the whole country from where it was at the time to where Uganda is now, where not only UPDF, but Uganda's image is a recognizable, admirable, enviable Uganda than ever before. So it is important. So that is the significance of this day. And I really, every day on this day, I thank God. I said, mighty God, you have really given us an opportunity to make our whatever little contribution each of us made, whatever little sacrifice, however much sacrifice, small or big, it has been for a purpose. It has resulted into real, visible, tangible, touchable, seeable, enjoyable results. Now, for the young people, what is this meaning? What does this day mean? 
This day means that Uganda, East Africa, Africa need people who are willing to sacrifice for their future. People who are willing to come together. There has never been a better opportunity than now. The environment now is so good for us that we can discuss, we can talk, we can air our views, we can exchange, which was not there before. In 1981, if you talked about the regime, if you were hard to be against the regime, your head would go. Now the opportunity that is available for the young people is the opportunities that which are available than ever before. Not only available in Uganda, but available in East Africa and the whole of Africa. The young generation, which is the greatest asset of Africa, which is the greatest asset of Uganda, if we use our opportunities which are available, opportunities of peace, opportunities of freedom, opportunities of democracy, opportunities of exposure that is available to any knowledge you want, any technology you want, any knowledge you want, you can access it not only from one small country, but from all over the world. So, this is the challenge now from this day, if each of us can say, from today, since these people also were willing to sacrifice their lives, let us sacrifice our time. That's what I would request for the young people. Let's sacrifice the time to come together. And for the old, whom I must first congratulate, I must congratulate the, all the, com all the com comrades, soldiers and non-soldiers who participated, all our veterans, congratulate them for reaching on this day and celebrating it because it has led us to a new situation in Uganda. My request is one. On this day, my message is one. My message is let us revive, revival, revival of the values, revival of the principles, revival of the ideology that brought us this far. Let us not relax, let us not be complacent, let us not forget, let us revive at an individual level. You think between yourself, you say, where did I go wrong? Where did I falter? Where did I relax? At our individual level, at the family level, at the unit level or any organization where you are, or at the, even your district level, at the national level, let us think of those values that brought us this far. For the UPDF, we have our doctrine, which is very clear, which brings out our values. Those values of respecting the population, our doctrine number one is our relationship with the population, maintaining it. Our doctrine of, of, of sharing, of integrity, of not being selfish but working as a unit. Let us strengthen our cohesion. Let us get out all our differences that would appear from anywhere. Let us relax, be on discipline, be disciplined, get better organized. There are those two words that I always tell that the future belongs to the organizer. The future belongs to the organized and the discipline. Those two words. Let us organize better. Let us hold more open fora of open criticism to discuss any matter. We have all the freedom and the opportunity. Let us revive our freedom to express ourselves so that we get organized better and we get disciplined better. The future belongs to the organized and disciplined. That's what has led us this far. UPDF has been well organized under the good leadership of our revolutionary leader, President Yoweri Museveni, and has maintained the organization and the discipline of our force, and that's what has helped the rest of the country to move forward. The UPDF is like the vanguard, is the prime mover. That's why whatever we go to do, we do it with all our heart, with all our mind, and I would encourage that let all of us join together, all the security forces. We have a wonderful opportunity now. We have completely finished a very successful, peaceful election. Where I must congratulate His Excellency the President, I must congratulate the security forces, I must congratulate all the leaders, the electoral commission, I must congratulate all those people who work tirelessly and those who voted so that we continue moving forward. And my song these days is Abogere Abogere Uganda Songambere Abogere Abogere Uganda Songambere Let those who talk, there's so much talk. 
talk, 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 but Uganda is moving ahead, is progressing steadily, remembering all these uh, days that we celebrate, and remembering the Terehisita, which trumpeted the loud noise of Mugambi. Na teka yoro lini Mugamba biyari recorded, katindo oza binovyo tebili recorded, bidi alari. E, baba dewa kuzata Terehisita, sija suka wano nakuru alero, Hey, and the words are you can't even catch it. No, can't call it. Can't call it. It is the final channel. Being the no, I'm out.